Hey guys, Valar was here. So the Skunder Weaver dropped on PBE a couple days ago, and now that he's received his first set of changes with the addition of some AD and AP ratios, I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of what his clearing looks like in his current state. Of course, this is just PBE, so things will change a bit before his release. Now, his first clear is honestly kind of mediocre. He's a bit of a slow starter since his Q isn't that powerful before you get some points into it. But his clear speed by mid-game is actually kind of crazy. He clears on a similar pace to champs like Hecarim and Udyr. Even if you're building him with zero damage items in a competitive jungle setting, he has probably the fastest clear speed of any tank jungler in the game right now. But in solo queue, of course, I would probably pick up at least one bruiser item before building tanky. Now, for first clear pacing, he's at around a 318 full clear pace with one smite and no leash. If your clear's not too refined, then I'd expect something more like 325. It's not amazing, but it is enough to reach crab on spawn with the smite up, which is kind of what you expect from a tank jungler. He does prefer a slower early game since he's not super healthy during his first clear, so he isn't amazing in early invade or split map scenarios. But he can definitely look for level 3 ganks, and his full clear speed is passable. The main thing to keep in mind while clearing is that his Q cooldown begins when he first presses it, not when he finishes using it. It's like Riven's Q. So when possible, you want to prep your Q before you E into a camp. That way, you can double cast your Q with no downtime once you arrive. His passive also does a pretty good amount of damage over time based on the target's health, so you can leave camps pretty early and just let your passive and pet damage finish him. And he has some pretty good transitions between the camps since he can just throw his Q over walls at the next camp or E into them. From a red start, I'd go with a QWQ skill order if you're full clearing, and from a blue start, I'd go with a QWE skill order. If you're level 3 ganking, then of course go QWE no matter where you start. Now, once Garner gets some ranks in his Q and some ability haste, his clear speed really takes off, since his Q has a huge amount of percent health damage, and its cooldown and damage cap to monsters both scale really hard with rank. He ends up having some of the fastest mid-game clearing I have ever seen on a tank, and it's even better if you pick up an Ability Haste Bruiser item first, like a Shoujin, Sundered Sky, or Black Cleaver, before grabbing your tank items. But if you want to go full tank, his clear speed is honestly still really good. His Q chunk's super hard, and he moves from camp to camp really quickly with his E. At a 1 item point, he can already do a full 6 camp rotation in under a minute, which is among the fastest in the game. Just make sure you pick up some kind of Ability Haste, since his clear speed is kind of gated by his E cooldown between the camps. He's also pretty fast at doing neutrals for a tank because he has so much percent health damage, and he basically takes zero damage from Drake or Baron because his W is on like a 4 second cooldown once you have a couple items. Now, I won't go too deep into his actual gameplay since this video is focused on how well he clears, but an interesting aspect of the reworked Skarner is that he's probably one of the best frontline picks for a poker siege comp. Once you have some ability haste, the cooldown on his Q is at around 4 seconds and his boulder throw is pretty chunky. It scales off both Skarner and his target's health, and it has a higher length, width, and AoE radius than a Karma's Mantra Q. You can even double it up and throw two Qs within a couple seconds because of how the cooldown works. So in standoff or siege scenarios where most tanks are kind of useless until a fight actually starts, Skarner can basically just sit there flinging rocks nonstop. Now, I don't know how strong this champion is actually going to end up being, your guess is as good as mine, but he absolutely has some really interesting strengths that separate him from other tanks and juggernauts currently in the game. His clear pacing mid-game is amazing, he can deal and soak quite a bit of damage, he's loaded with CC, and he's actually super useful even at long range. I really wouldn't be surprised if he shows up in both solo queue and competitive. Anyway, again, this is just PBE, and his numbers are for sure going to change, but hopefully this gives you guys a better sense of how he clears and feels.